just be childlike. Oh, I love this chapter. I love this because God talks about in the New Testament, Jesus says, you know, um, in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, like you need to become like a child. You know, when the children are before Jesus and he says, he says, don't you dare, don't you dare send them away. Um, these are, these, this is what you need to be like in order to enter the kingdom of God. And, you know, I cannot help but think of Christmas. Okay. Christmas is my favorite holiday. It always has been my favorite holiday. I love it. I love it for so many reasons. And I talk about it in the book. I talk about it in this chapter, but, um, I love that people are generous I love that they're focused on the family. I love that it re-centers us on what truly is important if you let it. I love that we're celebrating Jesus and his birth and everything that he did for us. It is just a time of giving. It's a time of giving back. And honestly, I wish every day was Christmas. I wish every season was Christmas. That we just had this mentality of giving, of being generous to others, of loving others. Um in a really amazing, to a really amazing degree. Um, but I talk about here, I talk about thinking like a kid on Christmas, becoming childlike again, meaning this, meaning, do you remember when you were a kid and it was around Christmas and you started dreaming about all those things that you wanted for Christmas? Now, when I was growing up, my parents sometimes had me create a Christmas list. And I am telling you, everything was on that list. I think I wrote a horse or a pony or a puppy every single year on that, on that Christmas list. I did not have any limit, limitations to that list. I did not um, think, well, maybe this is too big and my parents can't get that. No, I would put every single thing that I wanted in that season on that list. And then I would give it to my parents. And of course, I didn't always get everything I wanted. In fact, I never got everything that I wanted. But that's not the point. The point is that I had enough childlike faith to ask. I had enough childlike faith to ask. And I think that when we're first, when we first give our lives to God, when we first enter into this walk of being a Christian and we know that God is all powerful and he can do all things. I think in the beginning we start off with such hope, with such childlike faith, with such expectancy in a father and a God who can do so much greater than we could ever hope or imagine. And somewhere along life, along this thing that we call life, this journey, we grow. We grow into mature adults. We grow into the life that we're in now. And I think sometimes we lose that childlike faith in a heavenly father that loves us and wants to gift us um, the miraculous in our lives. Instead of asking God for great things, we start asking him for to just get by. God, just get me through this. God, I don't really need hope. I don't really need joy. I just need you to give me through this. God, no, I can't dream anymore. I can't ask you for great things anymore. I can't because I have this, this, and this in my life. And, and we're so weighed down with responsibility and with weight and with everything that's around us that we forget to be like a child and to ask God once again for the impossible. But I believe that God is like a gracious heavenly father. And he's looking at us and he is saying, daughter, son, child, just become childlike again. Become childlike in your faith. Become childlike in your expectancy. Don't hesitate to ask me. I reserve the right to decide whether or not you need that thing in this season of your life. But I still want you to ask. I still want you, daughter, to come before me and to ask me for every single thing that's on your heart. And then if I decide in this season that it's right for you, then I will make that happen. But would you please become childlike once again in your faith towards me? And I don't know about you, but I want every season of my life, I want to be asking God, God, 
God, I want to ask you for great things. I want to ask you for big things. I don't want to put limits on my life, but God, I want to be childlike before you, believing that you can do above and beyond what I could ask or think. So what areas of your life do you need to become childlike again? We're going to talk more about this in the next chapter too, and I cannot wait.